Welcome back to Cape Chronicle. I'm Alex Gasser. Dan Presson wears many hats, one of which is the Assistant Vice President of CMO's Economic and Workforce Development Program. He joins us today to talk about the program and what they do for the community. Hi, Brent, Dan. How are you? Hi. Thank you very much for having me, Alex. <laughs> yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about um, workforce development. Excellent. Uh, about two years ago, Southeast Missouri State University and Dr. Carlos Vargas created the Division of Economic and Workforce Development at Southeast Missouri State. Um, what we've done in those formative years within this, this unit at the institution is trying to find ways throughout the entire region to make sure that we are best preparing Southeast Missouri for success in, ec success in economic growth as well as success with uh, workforce training. Now, obviously, a university is essentially workforce training. We are training teachers, future lawyers. We're training construction managers and all different, different majors uh, across multitudes of areas every year. However, what we're doing in this division is something unique. Uh, we're, we're looking at more of a granular level. We're looking at what are those skills that make somebody a, a really strong employee? How do we bring those skills to the table? How do we change the way a local business looks at their cyber security, cyber assurance? Uh, all of these little pieces and parts come together in what will hopefully become and will ultimately show that Southeast Missouri is a really strong place to start a business, grow a business, or relocate a business, as well as a, a really strong place for a worker to stay here, feel invested in, and, and continue to be a part of the economy. Awesome. So um, some of, what are some of those partnerships that you guys have that have really kind of grown this program? Uh, for example, right now what we're doing is basic personal finance trainings for some uh, local manufacturers, uh, working with their employees to make sure that their employees know the basics of their own personal finances. Where are they losing money? What is it that they can and can't afford? Should they cut out a daily trip to a Starbucks or a coffee shop? Um, and, and really trying to make sure that people even understand their own retirement vehicles. What's a 401k? Uh, all of those pieces we put together into a personal financial wellness training, and we're taking that to different manufacturers around the region um, and then allowing their employees on something as short as a lunch break to figure out and learn more about themselves financially, which will then prepare them to continue to stay in the workforce and continue to be a really good employee. Awesome. Awesome. So... Um are these like free? How do they sign up for these programs or how do, how do people get involved in, yeah. in this? Uh, right now, especially for personal financial wellness, we're working with companies. So if there's any company out there, I encourage them to get in touch with the Division of Economic and Workforce Development. Uh, we would love to bring this type of a training to that company's location or host it on site in one of the CMO campuses. Um, and so this is just one of those areas that we've started building out specific programs to help make sure that our region is a successful and healthy workforce. Uh, in the future, we're going to be looking at a lot of other things, uh, working with the healthcare industry to make sure that their employees are trained up and ready to go, maybe with some refresher courses. Uh, even looking at public safety to see if there's a way to make sure, make sure that our police on both the municipal and the county level are trained to do exactly what they need to do in the best way possible. Uh, there's a lot of unique opportunities for an institution like SEMO to directly impact the entirety of Southeast Missouri. And it, 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 all options are on the table, which is the best part. So whenever I talk to a company, uh, I just ask them, what is it that you need? What is it that your employees ask you? What is it that you, see, that you don't see in your employees that you need for us to bring to the table? And let's see how we can fix that. And let's see what kind of training we can put together that will help make sure that Southeast Missouri is strong in the future. That's awesome. Um, is there a goal in the future to maybe look at some online pieces too with that? Um, I know you're doing this now in person, yeah. but is there a hope to do that? That is a, a wonderful question. And the truth <laughs> is, is if you, whenever you think about, especially our manufacturers in Southeast Missouri, there are shifts that do not allow for someone to attend an in-person class. You might be working an overnight shift, which there's not going to be an in-person class on your lunch break. Um, and so, yeah, absolutely, the world of online, online programming is, is right there in front of us. Uh, it's pretty exciting whenever you start to look at all those different options. Uh, one thing that's been very exciting in the past couple of months has been the new partnership that Southeast Missouri State University has with IBM. Oh, and, awesome. Yeah, the, the Charles Stamp Center for, the Charles Stamp Cyber Command Center is located in Dempster Hall. And it just cut the ribbon uh, just a few weeks ago. So it's brand new to the region. And uh, it is going to be a really powerful tool for Southeast Missouri businesses and citizens and students 
to come in and gain the skills necessary to better protect themselves in the future with cyber awareness, also better protect their businesses in the future with cyber awareness. So we're in the process right now of working with IBM to build out specific trainings that will allow a company to come in and they can do it by the hour. So if they need a two hour training, a four hour training, uh, and we'll be able to put together these trainings that are truly impactful to help make sure that our businesses are secure. So if you think about in Southeast Missouri, we've got to make sure our workforce is trained up and ready to go. On the business side, we've got to make sure that our businesses are secure and ready for the future. And this Charles Stamp Cyber Command Center is really going to be a, a big part of that. That's awesome. I didn't realize that they had that ribbon cutting just so recently. Yeah. That's really exciting for some of those partnerships that are coming up um, for the future. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it really is. And, and so from my perspective, I, I'm not a cybersecurity expert, but whenever you sit down and you look at the capabilities of a cyber command center, or you look at the capabilities of a person who works in an IT department or even a student that's working in a cyber or working to complete a cybersecurity degree, you realize how quickly outmoded my own personal thoughts on cybersecurity are. Um, and so you walk into these, this new training, training center and you realize there's a whole world out there that we need to all be trained on. Every business needs to be trained on. Every employee needs to be trained on. You know, how do you protect yourself from phishing scams? How do you protect your email address? What kind of email address works the best, to, or uh, passwords work the best to keep your information safe? And so there's this whole world of cyber assurance that's out there. And we're luckily now going to be able to bring it to the region and bring people into a really high tech space that will just showcase the quality of instruction in Southeast, but then also really increase the regional's, region's awareness of cybersecurity. Awesome. What are some other things with this workforce development that we're you know, yeah. looking forward to in the future? Well, tying together all of the resources is, is, a huge, uh, is, is a huge part, especially in a region like Southeast Missouri. How can the university work with the state of Missouri and make sure that if a student or if a person or a citizen comes to a job center, also knows about what's available at the institution, also knows what's available through state level funding opportunities. And so in uh, the summer of 2023, we became the first school in the state of Missouri to have an on-campus Missouri job center. Uh, that Missouri Job Center has become a huge part and a huge part of the fabric of SEMO to make sure that not only can a citizen come in and get access to everything that the Missouri Job Center has been able to offer always, but then how can they tie it into a training opportunity? If they want to upskill themselves, you know, can they get connected up to a program at the university? Uh, thusly, if there's a student that is at the university and might be eligible for, uh, for some benefits through the state, we can help make sure that that transfer happens. And so there's a lot of great ways that SEMO is really working together in this region to make sure that, that the region can grow economically and attract businesses, but also that we can keep these employees here happy and growing. Awesome. I'm so excited for the future of, of Southeast Missouri. It sounds like we have some really exciting things happening. Southeast Missouri as a region is a remarkable area. Uh, we've got spectacular people, incredible businesses, remarkable agriculture. There's a lot of great things happening in this region, and we all should be proud of what this institution brings to this region, but we all should also be proud of the region that we live in. Uh, this is a beautiful part of the country, and we have access to a lot of great things, and we all need to make sure that when we talk to people about this region, we talk about it with excitement and forward thinking because there's so much opportunity out there, and we just want to make sure that everybody has access to it. Awesome.